Mrs. Hunter, uh, your boy. Yes. Lewis. Lewis Ray. Yeah. You better count, give him the option. He said, he, you can send him to military school or I can, <laughs> or I can send him to the reform school. Why don't you make the choice be his? Every fall for the past 15 years, Superior, Nebraska, population 1,918, welcomes screenwriters from all over the world attending a 14-day program that immerses them into their writing. The workshop and lectures are led by Lewis Ray Hunter, a Nebraska native. This is Lou Hunter, and this is his story. I grew up in sort of a strange way, and I got through school rather quickly. Uh, I, when I say rather quickly, because uh, I was 12 years old when I went into the ninth grade, and I got a master's degree at 19, that sort of thing. I somehow rather something pushed me along, which was me. Since he was a boy on the farm, Lou's mother knew he was going to grow up to do amazing things. The film industry intrigued Lou, which led him to move to Chicago where he landed a job at WTTW as a television producer, but he wanted more. And one man at Foot Conan Belding, which is an advertising agency, he says, listen, he says, if you want it bad enough, go to Hollywood. And but if you have a little bit of doubt, you stay in Chicago or it's safe and warm. And that guy made the sense to me. So I wrote a letter to, to um, about uh, 95 people that were in, had something to do to, uh, in Hollywood. Uh, and uh, out of the 95 letters, 16 ants people answered, and five of them agreed to meet with me. And of course I with gratitude and met with the five and one of the five said listen I know you got a master's degree he said you go to one of these networks and get yourself in the door because if you don't get yourself in the door how are you gonna make it happen anything happen for you so get yourself in the door whether it's page staff mail room etc I applied at NBC they hired me of the five, five people of us people that were in the mail room, uh, three of us had master's degrees, and one of them had a doctorate. So, uh, but I got to know people. Once he got himself in the door, Lou hopped from job to job, working at companies such as NBC, Walt Disney, ABC, CBS, Paramount, Warner Brothers, and more. Throughout his experiences, Lou realized his passion and talent was in screenwriting. The, the pinnacle of my career uh, from a creative standpoint as well as from a um, praise standpoint was Fallen Angel uh, and it was about pedophilia and uh, as one critic says that it took drug a skeleton out of America's closet which nobody had ever done that before and they still have pretty well avoided it too, uh, because it's such a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. Uh, but I, I think one of the things that just overwhelmed me so much is when the next day, why it was reported to me that 17 kids had turned in their pedophiles on the because they saw a fallen angel. And I didn't even think about that. It was never in one of my agendas. I, I feel kind of stupid on that level, but on the other level, pow! It just goes like, oh, my God in heaven, this movie saved the lives of 17 people. After receiving his second master's degree, this time from UCLA, Lou became a screenwriting professor at the school. Over half of the Oscar-winning scripts over the past 20 years have been written by students of Lou. The charisma, talent, and small town heart of Lou Hunter forever changed the university. Uh, I said, we don't, we don't care about how you became rich and famous. We want to know how you write. And Bill said, Jesus, Lou, and the horror of it all is that we all do it so wildly differently. And he said, no, that's the thrill of it all. Because when we read this book or read the Bill Goldman uh, colloquy, uh, we'll say, wait a minute. it's." 
the most important thing is for me to be as good as I am, as good as I am, not as good as Bill Goldman is. And I, I, one of the things I'm kind of proud of in the, my, my office out there, uh, why, uh, I, I have a quote that came, in in the New York, came out of the New York Times magazine, and the quote is, you can be as good as you can be. And uh, so when I read it, I said, Jesus, that's great. Did I, and I called up the woman that wrote the piece. And I said, did I say that? And she said, yeah, well, it wasn't in our interview. You said it in a lecture that I saw in New York a year before. But once you sort of realize, here I am, and, and you say, well, am I going to get better? Yes, you are. The more you do, the more you do, the wider the road becomes and to the point of where, wow, i, I got to keep <laughs> to the point of retirement, probably, if that's such a word that I've never used before in my own life. Lou, who Steven Spielberg has called the best screenwriting teacher going, has found his way back to Nebraska where he is working on his second book about screenwriting. The field of screenwriting has forever been changed by Lewis Hunter. And I went on my grave saying he tried. Uh, I'd rather fail than, than he didn't try. <laughs> Don't envy other people, and don't be, think you're bigger than other people. You are as, you are as useful to humanity as you let yourself be. Mm -hmm.